welcome to this edition of 10 Minutes. I'm Annie Goodrum. The topic today, defects in vision. You might be wondering why we were interested in this topic, and it's because of a new outbreak, nearsightedness. To find more out about this, we went to our expert eye consultant, Nick. He's going to tell us all about people with nearsightedness. Oh. It's bad out there. Eyes are being all deformed and everything. Us experts, we call it myopia. Let's take a deeper look. In the eye with nearsightedness, the eye is a little more longer than the normal eye. In the cornea, it's just a little more curved. And when light rays enter the eye, they don't meet on the retina. They meet before. If you see this, look away and run. Sorry to interrupt. This just in. There's now an outbreak of farsightedness. We're going to send this back to Nick to tell us more about this tragic story. It's getting even worse out there. The eyes are shorter. My expert word for this one, hyperopia. Let's take a look. The eye now is shorter than an average eye, and the cornea is a little bit flatter, causing the light rays when entering the eye to meet behind the retina. If you see these people, let them get close. They probably can't see you. <laughs> you all, our viewers, will never believe this. My initial reaction, one of disbelief. There has been another devastating outbreak in people's eyes. It is called astigmatism. To learn more about this big word, we are again going to our expert eye man, Nick. It's the worst I've ever seen. The eyes were short and are longer than ever now. It's an astigmatism. Let's look at it. In an astigmatism, the eye is very elongated and the cornea is very curved. This causes the light rays when entering the eye to meet at multiple points, either on the retina or before it. With this one, folks, pick and choose your battles. Good luck. To fix all these tragic defects in vision, some smart man one day created glasses. There's two main types of lenses for glasses. Concave lenses and convex lenses. Farsighted people need a convex lens. The light that comes through a convex lens is bent towards the center to push the focal point forward. The other type of lens, the concave lens, curves in slightly. They're used for people with nearsightedness and people with astigmatism. That's better. The light bends towards the top of the lens and the bottom of the lens, so it pushes, pushes the focal point back towards the retina. The goal of the correction is to have the focal point hit the retina exactly where it should for ideal vision. I'd like to thank Nick, our expert eye man, for giving us all this valuable information on these tragic chain of events in damaging eyesight. That concludes our edition of 10 Minutes. When you look me in the eyes and tell me that you love me, everything's alright. <sighs> There's been, it's getting bad out there. There's been a terrible outbreak. Vision. Well, I forgot something. Sorry. <laughs> Tragic, far-sighted souls. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can't laugh at the poor. Oh gosh, I'm recording. Changes the strength of the prescription. I just finished your sentence there. I don't know. People with nearsightedness. 
there's been, it's getting bad out there. There's been a terrible <laughs> outbreak of, oh, see, I went too fast. I did this. Fast actually. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Eyeglass Take 10. <laughs> getting even worse out there. The eyes are getting shorter. Let's take a look. Myopia. Oh, oh it's happening. <laughs> Astigmatism. Sightedness. Call me when you need me. <laughs>